hear all. A brief message to all human rights organizations around the globe. Ahwaz, or Arabistan as it's called in Farsi, is located in southwest of Iran and southeast of Iraq, with over 10 million populations. Their native language is Arabic, but forced to speak Farsi, particularly at the school. There are many, many issues, but this is just the beginning. Hundreds of films and pictures have reached us in order to convey the message of the oppressed Ahwazi Arab people. And they are rising up continuously up to this moment against the oppressor regime of Iran. Having said that, if Yazid killed 72 people in Karbala, you, the regime of Iran forces, have arrested and killed thousands of Ahwazi innocent people, innocent human rights activists, men, women, farmers, children, even the animals were not safe. Moreover, your forces confiscated the Ahwazi lands. You attacked them every single night, assassinating them, arresting and sentencing people, young people, to death under various pretexts. You deliberately dried up the five main rivers that existed for thousands of years, and you know you know exactly why your brutal regime is doing this. Deprived them of comfort and security, starved and displaced them with the most barbaric behavior and treating them with violence and torture. Your regime claiming to be Islam and being a Muslim, but I don't think so. And you wish is there anything left that you do not attach and stick to them? Shame on you, Mullahs, and your tyrant expansionist regime. You are a criminal. You are a murderer. Does the infidel has horns or tails? This is what you are. The filthy regime pretends to be honest with the world. This is very clear and frank for everyone that you are a Satan criminal. That's true, very true. On behalf of Ahwazi Center for Human Rights, my name is Abu Jasim, Ahwazi Human Rights Activist. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alham. I came from Toronto to be in front of Canadian Parliament. We need them to show some action against the Iranian terrorist regime. Um, they are um, not short in any kind of genocide action against um, all the nationalities in Iran, including um, lately, um, in the last 10 days, in south of Iran, in a region of Ahwaz, uh, by killing so many young um, uh, demonstrators who, um, who were asking basically for clean water. Um, they were asking for clean water because uh, we, even though they have the three biggest rivers of Iran in the region, uh, they have no drinking water. Um, they have um, all this um, 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 like their uh, farming, their animals, everything is in danger. Um, and that's why we're here to support them. 
And the last thing they did, you know, they stop, you know, they take all water what we have, and they send it to Iranian uh, city. And our people now they don't have water to drink, and our you know uh, animals, uh, our you know uh, everything what we have is dead now. And our people coming to the restoration, you know, to uh, the demonstration to say stop that you know genocide, and they kill our young people, they kill our. Uh, kids and women and there is a lot of film you know we have you know, which we call United Nations we call you know our government here Canada to support our people to support human right there our people they looking for justice for freedom for self-determination we don't need anything else you know we just need to live as a human on our land and so uh, we need to support them the internet is there is no internet. It must be scary. Yes, of that, course. Uh, the government shut down the internet, not yes. leaving any messages in or out. Exactly. And God knows we have maybe thousands of Ahwazi people, uh, especially the, the people uh, who are a member of human rights, Ahwazi human rights. They are in the prison. <laughs> And can you tell me what brought you out here today? Uh, we are protesting the policies of the Iranian government for the ethnic cleansing is going on against the Arabs in the province. Uh, the people are fighting for their freedom. They are fighting for their basic needs like water. Uh, there is a water shortage in the area that's going on for a while. It's a systematic, systematic uh, uh, program by the Iran government. It's not because of shortage of water or it's not because of shortage of rain, because it's a, a systematic policy of the Iranian government to clear the people from that land and that area. And we are native there. We are, you know, uh, this, this is our land and our uh, whatever we have there. They come by troops, they come by army, they come by terrorists. As you know, the Iranian regime, they, they kill people everywhere now. Or how about the people, he's, you know, just, they control them. That's why, you know, uh, we are here to uh, send a message to our government to help and support our people to the Ahwazi city. And uh, when we call Ahwazi city, this, uh, there is uh, more than 37 cities. Now, you know, under Iranian government uh, control, under Iranian uh, Safa Pastaran terrorism, uh, you know, uh, group, uh, you know, uh, con under control. And uh, for, for now, we, uh, you know, uh, just we call, you know, international community to support, you know, our people, to support our, uh, you know, freedom fighter in our city to have justice and uh, have self-determination. Um, to say um, stop um, genocide um, of Ahwazi Arabs and other nationalities in Iran. Um, we people need freedom of speech in Iran. Uh, people need to say um, that um, all this last 40 years of this current Iranian regime, um, which they are only stealing all the national resources, um, and these people are not getting anything of it. People are poor, um, they have nothing to live with, they, and, and lately they have no water to drink. And people are demonstrating in Ahwaz, and they are just facing the bullets of um, um, Iranian um, uh, regime um, um, and we had um, so far more than 10 people killed and hundreds injured um, and that's we are here to support them so, yes this is what's going on and they pretend that they are Islamic Islamic uh, government Islamic religion and being a Muslim but it's a lie Personally, uh, because they're, 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 like, uh, the political relation between Iran and Canada and Iran is cut and there is no diplomatic uh, ties, I cannot assume that there is something they can do. What they can do is not changing Canada to a safe haven for the Iranian uh, politicians that are running away from Canada, same as like the, central, uh, the head of the central bank 
uh, Iranian Central Bank who fled Iran and he came to Canada and is enjoying the money that he stole from Iran, which is my money, my people's money, the Iranian people's money, and he's living happily in Toronto. So this is one of the things that the Canadian government have to discuss and have to like focus on, that they should not be a safe haven to the Iranian diplomats or Iranian government officials. Thank you very much. I heard the uh, government has cut off all uh, communications in and out of Iran. Yes, uh, that you know. Must be uh, very worrisome for you. Yes, uh, for sure. You know, uh, government, uh, you know, uh, groups, uh, terrorism. You know, they are everywhere, as you see. In Toronto, that's when the terrorist Qasem Soleimani, I think uh, you know him, when uh, you know, uh, it's it's killed by uh, a U.S. troop. You know, and last year in uh, Iraq. Uh, the, so many uh, of those supporters uh, uh, for uh, Iranian regime come to uh, Toronto City and come to Young Street and they put the flower for the Qasem Soleimani terrorists. Everyone know that. If they put a flower, you know, to his picture, and they, there is a line more than 200 people stuck. You know, the, the line just put a flower to this terrorist. He killed our people. He killed uh, Syrian people. He killed Iraqi people. He killed, you know, U.S. people. And he, they live here in Canada and they, you know, support by, you know, uh, it's un, 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 acceptable for our community. This is acceptable for and acceptable for non-Persian people here, uh, as for uh, Kurdish, uh, Turkmen, Turk, uh, Baluchi, and Arab. We are, you know, large community here and you know Iranian regime they you know pressure us here too and look, the same thing you know they pressure our people to uh, our state uh, in Lahwas. What would you like to see the Canadian government do more for the people of Iran? Uh, we want them to show action in United Nations. We want them to say that they are supporting um, um, uh, people's movement in Iran. Uh, they are supporting human rights in Iran. Um, and that's what we want from Canadian government. Um, as a government that it's, um, we are living in Canada, um, um, enjoying our freedom of speech. We are enjoying uh, our faith. We're enjoying um, everything human wants to ask. And we want this same in, for Iranian people, especially for nationalities in Iran, that they are um, um, short of even basic, basic, basic human needs. Um, we want them to be our voice in United Nations and all over the world. Stop killing Ahwazi! 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 Okay, look into the camera and pretend you're speaking to all your people in Iran. What do you want to tell them? In Arabic? Just don't say anything bad. I'll get in trouble. No, 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 no. Okay. أحبتي شعبي الأحوازي شعبي المناضل الأحوازي أهنا في الأحواز العربية المحتلة استمروا بنضالكم استمروا بنضالكم ضد هذا النظام الإجرامي القاتل الإرهابي وأشد على أياديكم ونشكر جميع الأخوة الشيوخ المناضلين الشيوخ المناضلين اليوقفون مقابل هذا النظام الإجرامي هذا النظام اللي يندعي بالإسلام اليوم بالأحواز كربلة كربلة هم يندعون بأن يبكون ليلا ونهارا على موت كربلة وأمام حسين عليه السلام بس هذا كله كذب كله كذب زين هاليوم الأحواز كربلة بعد أكثر شيء من هاي خذوا أراضي الأحواز العربية خذوا أراضيهم سدوا الأنهر قطعوا الطريق خذوا أراضيهم كتلوا أولادهم كتلوا شبابهم رجاء استمروا بالنضال إحنا معاكم تضامنا مع شعب العرب الأحوازي اليوم إحنا وقفنا هنا اجتمعنا هنا ويا أخواننا الأحوازيين زين نساء ورجال وقفنا مقابل مقابل البرلمان الكندي في أتوا عاصمة عاصمة كندا وأنا أشكر الإذاعة الكندية اللي أعطتني هاي الفرصة اللي أقدر أكلمكم هذا هاي الجمل البسيطة وأنا خادمكم أشكركم وتسلمون حياكم الله عاش شعبنا العربي والأحوازي والمناضل الموت للنظام الإيراني الفاسد القاتل 
حياكم الله بخدمتكم أخوكم الإعلامي أبو جاسم المعاوي الأحوازي حياكم الله شكرا تحزم للأحوال